Hello, Dustin. My name is Sean Ebert. I'm the website analysis expert at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website over to me for analysis. Thank you for letting us do that. Now, uh, the first thing I have to tell you is that you do have a beautiful website. You clearly spent some money on it. You have an expectation that this thing is going to uh, bring you customers and money. And uh, this is a great start. Uh, it absolutely is. Now, uh, I'm not so much interested in the aesthetic part of it. That's not what my assessment is about. My analysis is more about how your site is uh, performing and uh, how it is not performing and how it can be improved so that it does perform better. And uh, there are some very simple and straightforward things that you can do for this website. Uh, now, first off, I'm gonna show you that after I look at this site, I have this paid tool that I use. It's called Ahrefs. And it gives me the metrics of your site, uh, tells me how it's been performing over the last couple months. The next thing is I do a regular old Google search. And the reason I do that is because Google is going to be uh, responsible for about 96% of your traffic. The number of visitors that you get will be determined by uh, how many people come through Google to you. Um, and uh, so that's why. And, and Google is something that most people don't understand and uh, not understanding something means that you won't be able to take advantage of it. So I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, how Google works and I'm going to do it by way of uh, um, talking about the search results that we have here. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that Google has an algorithm that is responsible for everything that happens on its pages. Now, I, I know I said the word algorithm, and so, <laughs> you know, I hope that you haven't fallen for it and your head hit the desk, because I know, I know. But uh, algorithm aside, uh, here is the first thing that I'm gonna show you, and that is that there are some folks at the top who are paid. At Google, they call it sponsored, uh, because I think they want it to sound more like you're helping out the uh, Little League team, but uh, no, they just paid to be up there. Um, and that's not a bad strategy. I'm not, I'm not denouncing that, but a lot of people wonder, why would you want to be paid to be on a list that is the list of the best to the worst? And that is not at all what Google is. So, um, and the other thing to know is that Google is not random. Uh, there, it's not democratic. It's not like one day somebody takes the top spot and the next day somebody else. No, Google has a plan for their search customers. Now, underneath the paid ones, we have what we call the map path. Now, the first one up here is paid also. But uh, these folks down here, these three, all they did to get in the map path was go to Google and fill out a Google business profile. Now, uh, that's kind of like a Facebook profile, except it asks you stuff about your business. It's going to ask you what year you started your business. It's going to ask you uh, what your hours are on a daily basis. And it's going to ask you to uh, make sure that you uh, own the site that you are registering <laughs> as a profile. Probably a pretty good safe uh, safeguard there. Um, now, uh, these uh, were rewarded because Google likes to reward sort of uh, perfection, if you will. They're, they fill this out thoroughly and precisely. And since Google is a you know computer company at its core, uh, precise and thorough is exactly what it likes to reward. So underneath the map pack, we have what we call the organic search results. And these are not organic in the sense that they're gonna show up different one day or the other. Um, but uh, they are organic in that you didn't have to fill out a profile to be there. Now, these two spots are, in fact, different. Google, uh, you can be here in uh, this one, and you can also be here in this one. In fact, oh, that was Scott Roofing. They're there, and they're here. They didn't pay to be in either spot. All they did was make sure that they had certain things in their website that satisfied the Google algorithm. Now I'm going to talk about that more specifically. The first thing that uh, the algorithm would like is if you have a uh, business profile filled out. Now number two is part A and part B. And uh, I will tell you that Google loves content. Now I'm going to refer to Lions Roofing here as your Google competitor for the purpose of this uh, uh, analysis. And uh, here is their website, Lions Roofing. And uh, here is yours, and I'm going to show you what I mean about uh, content. Now, uh, I just copied and I'm going to paste your entire home page into this word counter. You have 946 words, and uh, now I'm going to do the same for them. Select all, copy, and paste. 
Da -da, 958 words. Wow, you guys are neck and neck, aren't you? Okay, so here's the deal. Um, they actually win by 12. Uh, but, but, uh, winning here is only part of the issue. Uh, what Google wants is 1,500 words on your homepage. Now, that seems like a lot. It seems, oh, I'm going to have this really ugly homepage with a lot crammed into it. That's not true. just depends on how it is laid out, how, how you present these words. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to tell you is that uh, all words are not the same at Google. Uh, Google has keywords, and I'm going to show you what your keywords are. You have 136 keywords. Keywords are words that Google expects you to have on your website, and, and how they come up with these words is in a variety of ways. They come from the communities around you. They come from your and other uh, competitors' websites because you're all in the same industry, and uh, they also come from Google searches, what people have actually typed into a search to bring yours and your competitor sites up. Now, uh, you have 136 of those, and Lions has 4,900. Now, you don't necessarily need to beat that number, but you do need to come up in your keywords. Uh, and I'm going to show you what their keywords are. Um, here we go. Uh, roofing Companies Phoenix. Now, a lot of this is going to seem competitive, and we can ignore the ones that say lions, of course, but uh, they seem competitive because the algorithm is dumb. It does not know our language. It is looking for everything in every language from, you know, Japanese to Polish. And uh, what you want to do is realize that companies is not the same as company. Solar panel is not the same as solar panels uh, because the algorithm is just looking for what it's told to look for or what it determines itself to look for. And uh, so that's why there's going to be a lot of repetition and in, in things like that. Uh, this is what people are uh, concerned about in Phoenix. Uh, replace roof with solar panels how to walk on a tile roof, um, a lot of solar panel questions. Uh, oh, oh, and obviously a uh, roof is different than roofers, is different than roofing. Gable, uh, somebody just typed in that and their website came up. Um, so as you can see, uh, roof over roof, that's an interesting one. Um, there are a lot of different queries, and, and uh, a bunch of these uh, have become keywords, and those are words that you need to put on your website in order to be competitive, because the Google algorithm is looking for those. Uh, it, here's the reason. It thinks that its search customers deserve to go to a place that is going to teach them something about the subject that they have typed into that little Google search box, and the uh, Google has determined that... Uh, these words need to be there in order for their customers to learn something. And that's the 1,500 words. They should include a lot of these keywords. Now, next, I'm going to show you your backlinks. Uh, you have 592 with 110 referring domains. A backlink is where your site uh, uh, appears on somebody else's site, and there is a link back to you. So, for instance, Yelp. You know, if you have claimed your profile, put in your uh, 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 web address, then there is a backlink from Yelp to you. Uh, you have 110 domains. I'm going to show you what your competitor has. They have 616 domains. Uh, and that is what is important. You need to get those backlinks up. And I'm going to show you what their backlinks are. And a lot of these are simple to get on. It's a question of filling out a profile, like the Google profile. And some of them require other sorts of things. But that's something that you can figure out, you know, uh, on your own if you want to. Um, now, uh, a lot of these uh, are in the 90s, and you want your uh, you want your backlinks to be on sites that are rated in the 90s. And this is the domain rating. This is a scale of 0 to 100, and it shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile. Now, as I said to you, your backlink is where you appear on a different site. These backlinks appear on many, many, many different sites. And that's why they have such a high rating. Your rating currently is eight, and that's great for a company of your size. And these ones are rated 96, Wikipedia, obviously. Uh, MapQuest is what you can get on, Angie's List, Expertise.com, Yellow Pages, and on and on. Uh, and you want them to stay anywhere from the 70s to the 90s. Oh, Look at this. They lost porch.com. I don't know why. Maybe they're not, uh, didn't keep up with something, but that's an opportunity. Um, and the bottom line is this, that uh, Google wants 
uh, its customers to go to a place that is already proven to be interesting and popular. And the way that they do that is by determining that a lot of other sites refer to it. That's sort of like a bunch of people talking about you, right? That makes you more famous. That is what it comes down to. Google wants their search customers to go to some place that is already proven to be interesting. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is what it means on a monthly basis. Last month, you had 26 visitors to your site. That is up eight from the month before. You had 18 the month before. That's not very good. That's This is not even one a day. Now, I'm going to show you what Lions had. Uh, 4,400. And that is entirely due to the fact that they are listed first in the organic search results, right underneath the map pack. There they are. Anything else below that is going to have a decreasing amount of uh, visitors per month. And uh, that is <laughs> that is how Google works. This is how you can take advantage of Google by knowing how it works. So there are three things that the Google algorithm is looking for. I've told you about all of them. First, the Google business profile. Second, you want to have more uh, uh, keywords on your website. And third, uh, you need to have more backlinks. Now, all of those are things that are achievable. Uh, and uh, I'm going to assume, however, that you would rather spend your time roofing than digging around in Google or other websites to figure out what sites your site is on. Um, and so that's why I think if you leave it to good old Eric, he would be glad to guide you through the next steps. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.